Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you guys everything new to expect in tomorrow's content update. Epic Games is finally back for vacation starting today and tomorrow, well, the content update. So let's get directly into it. While there won't be an update tomorrow, there will most likely be a new item being added to the game, which of course is the Guardian Shield. This item is a handheld shield that blocks ballistic fire and explosives and it can be thrown up to provide cover at a distance. Now we know that week 5 challenges usually requires you to use a new weapon, so that's when we think that it's going to be available, um, which would be around January 3rd or somewhere around that time. I know we covered this a million times, I'm really sorry for keep repeating myself, but that's legit all to expect in tomorrow's update already. Really hoping there's some secret stuff in here because, well, we need some updates. Uh, the purple version of the shield featured tomorrow in the first image is because when thrown the shield, it will start blinking purple uh, when the charge is about to have fully deplenished. When the charge is replenished, the shield Shield has a 10 second cooldown and has to recharge before use. Now you guys just seen gameplay as I was talking over that, do not want to bore you guys too much as of course we've covered it so many times now. Uh, but we do have for you guys some new stuff also to expect for tomorrow. Fire Monkey mentions that tomorrow at 9am Eastern Time the first mid-season style becomes available to earn. Each week, another style will become available, and the only requirement to unlock it is to earn 10 account levels. You'll also gain 25,000 XP for the challenges completed. And I think that's a really, really cool style. I really like that skin to begin with. Okay, so there you guys have it. Just in case everyone makes like 10 videos tomorrow that are eight minutes long on how to unlock these skins, it's as simple as that. Just simply gain 10 account levels, and that is completely it. You will unlock the bonus styles. Uh, very happy with the new styling of this chapter's brand new UI system for the Battle Pass. Just looks absolutely fantastic, and it's really cool to see what is actually coming next uh, inside the mid-season drops, the bonus styles, and all that great stuff. Uh, we also have for you guys this in the background videos. Tomorrow, Winterfest officially ends. Even though it technically already kind of ended, officially speaking, the cabin itself and whatever else is left for Winterfest finally ends. The magic of Winterfest ends tomorrow. Be sure to head over to the lodge to unwrap all the presents and head out for some last minute festive fun before Winterfest wraps, which honestly is just so, so wacky because obviously we are now 2023. Today is the second, tomorrow will be the third, and we are still talking about Winterfest. I mean, yeah, just crazy stuff overall. I think that this year's Winterfest was entirely a flop. But yeah, we'll get to that stuff very, very soon. Uh, in other news, this is actually pretty crazy uh, from JoJo. I actually leaked this last night on stream, but good thing Epic Games allowed it. I got some good news, y'all. Let's go. Thank you so much to Epic Games for letting me leak this early. Guys, I'm so excited to share with you the world's first ever foreskin locker bundle. I decided to put foreskins in my locker bundle to give you guys the best possible deal on foreskins in the history of Fortnite. Not only are they my favorite foreskins in the game, but they're also some of the best selling foreskins in the game. I hope you guys enjoy my foreskin locker bundle. All right, so JoJo might be getting a brand new locker bundle and it features four skins. Now, obviously that sounds a little weird, but we'll leave it to you guys in the comments below to decipher what this actually means. With that being said, we have for you guys from italk Fortnite, who has now just posted Winterfest was busted, which of course we just talked about Winterfest being completely broken and honestly pretty mid. Uh, here's his opinion on that. So today I wanted to talk about Winterfest this year because honestly, it was just really not great. I'm not blaming anyone for the situation, but it's just, it just didn't go over well. And I really do feel bad for Epic Games here. I really do. They barely get any time off as it is. And when they do, Fortnite completely just combusts. If you've been dealing with a lot of glitches, issues in the game so far in chapter four, you are definitely not alone. I know myself and a lot of other players have been dealing with quite a few issues in the game since chapter four, like some pretty severe lag, not being able to sprint, hammer glitches, and quite a bit more. Also, with that being said, we know for a fact the game has been, you know, broken for quite some time between the glitches, between uh, items getting vaulted too early, such as Deku's smash, and just so many things. It's not been a good time for Epic Games leaving on vacation. And I'm still kind of wondering why they don't have two teams to kind of, you know, take half and half breaks. You know, half the team will take off now while the other half remains. So you, can, of course, fix the game. But with that being said, everyone deserves off Christmas Eve, Christmas, and New Year. So to me, it's pretty simple. Divide the breaks into two different teams. Just give everyone actual holidays off like Christmas Eve, Christmas, New Year, stuff like that. But then, of course, you know, just half and half. That's essentially what I'm saying. You know, everyone deserves off the major holidays, but there should at least be some people left to manage this million, million dollar game. Like, probably even a billion dollar game at this point. Uh, so yeah, don't really understand that. Epic Games is a trillion dollar company, so there should be at least some people to stay behind to fix bugs, major issues, and well, 
even just make some content that is at least very, very small. Uh, so that's my two cents. With that being said, we even seen hackers inside the game right now. So check this out as well. If there's not a that's right here, I'm dead. Wait. Is that a cheater? Surprise. So yeah, we can see clicks getting killed by an auto aimer. Apparently, this guy's relatively famous uh, for killing Fortnite professional players. So again, Epic Games needs to come back and just ban all these people. Ingo is wondering what season two will bring in terms of map changes. I myself have liked the map so far. I think it's been really cool. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel like the map, I don't know. I, it just feels smaller to me. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, so yeah, kind of wondering what's going to happen with this map. It's been pretty bland to say the least, and I'm really hoping we can see some major map changes as it progresses into the next following updates. Obviously, tomorrow is a content update, so don't expect stuff for that. But next, next Tuesday, we hopefully are expecting some finally, finally some great map changes. The map is just simply so bland right now. And honestly, there's a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense still to this day, such as why did the island even explode uh, for the chapter four love event? Like it just doesn't make sense at all. Uh, another theory suggests that the chrome wanted to consume the zero point, but it fought back. Since the entire island has been turned to chrome, it had no chance but to re-destroy the entire island. Uh, then started to pull together pieces for a new island. The chrome can spread from minimalistic samples, so the entire island had to be, had to be destroyed to get rid of it. And someone said, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. But again, it's funny because the chrome spread from that tiny sample the scientist had under his microscope. So yeah, there's a lot of broken loopholes in the past couple of chapters, especially this current map. So I guess we'll leave it to you guys in the comments below to kind of argue about this. But yeah, I hope one day we get some better answers as far as, you know, chapter four storylines, new maps, lab events, and of course the backstories for these. Last but not least, what's the most and least overpowered augment in the game right now, in your opinion? And everyone seems to think that the storm mark in the end game is absolutely OP. Uh, the only thing I'm spending gold on this season is making sure I have storm mark and the extension pistol mag. Pistols are underrated with it with the augments. It's crazy good, which I must agree. I think the best gun in the game right now is legitimately the pistol, especially if you guys get the augments for the actual perks in the pistols. Uh, but yeah, here's a full list of the top 12 right now that everyone seems to think is the best. Honestly, kind of not accurate in my opinion. Uh, with that being said, that's all I have for you guys for today's video. Let us know how Alt Mars is doing the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. I'm sorry that I stole your car